Hi everybody, I'm Julie Zipper and it's really good to see you here today. And I would like to do a two-parter on manifesting. Manifesting is one of those glitter, glitter bomb words. We all um, would love to be great manifestors. And in truth, we are all great manifestors. It's a skill and we get to learn it. Much like learning how to bake a cake, we get to learn how to step into our divine birthright, to bring things into form, to create things. We are creative beings. We're made in the image and likeness of God. And this thing called God, spirit, the vibe, energy, whatever you want to call it, is creative. And so, so are you. So I want to um, bring up two great books. And uh, today I'm going to talk about Laws of Manifestation by David Spangler. Love that. And then in the next show, I'm going to talk about Mike Dooley's Manifesting Change. Really great books on learning how to manifest. So uh, first and foremost, David Spangler's Laws of Manifestation. He talks about manifesting in a holistic way. So for example, um, he talks about this client of his that wanted to manifest a car and he lived in a big city, needed to get to and fro and had been trying to manifest a car for a, a while, unsuccessfully. And he was vexed because he was a good manifester, usually manifested things quickly, no car. So as he's working with David, David takes him through what exactly does it mean to own a car? And he looked at it from a holistic approach. Owning a car means that you need gas. So now you're a part of the gas and oil industry. How does that make you feel? This guy didn't like that. He noticed resistance in his system. Owning a car means that you contribute to the pollution in our environment. This guy didn't like that. He had resistance to that. And so at the end of the session, he realized, I don't even want a car. It's not in alignment with who I am. I want a bike. That's in alignment with who I am. By the way, no judgment, I own a car. We're all doing the best we can. Um, and that night, he got a phone call for some friends, from some friends who were moving out of town. That night, and they had a bike, and they said, hey, do you want this bike? So he manifested it within hours, once he took the holistic approach and found what he truly wanted to manifest on all levels within his being, and that which he had no resistance to. So that's what I want to do today. I want to do a little meditation where we're gonna look at different different angles and see if you're a green light all the way for that which you are ready, willing, and able to bring into form. So, let's take several breaths and let's turn within. Mm. And as you take these breaths, I want you to bring into your mind one thing, we'll focus on one thing at a time, that you're ready to manifest. It could be abundance, it could be a relationship, it could be a car. What are you ready to manifest? What's the first thing that comes into your mind and go with that? And now begin to look at it from all levels and truly let your mind take you there. Let the infinite intelligence of you guide you to what that looks like. When you've manifested this, what does it mean? If you're looking to manifest love, it takes time, energy, commitment. Are you truly ready for that? It takes intimacy, physical, emotional. Are you ready for that? Is that a yes in your system? you would like to manifest abundance, what does that mean? What does money mean to you? Do you notice any resistance, any negative association with money, with wealthy people, with the word wealthy, prosperous? If you would like to manifest a particular job, what does it mean to be a part of that industry to you? whether it's going out on your own or joining forces with a particular company. Think of all the different angles. 
might mean working nine to five. Are you okay with that? Or if it's going off on your own, it might mean giving up weekends for a while as you devote yourself to building your business. Is that a yes for you? And noticing how your body is feeling as you're moving through this. Do you notice any tension, any anxiety? Or is it open and freeing? What do you feel? And if you noticed any resistance, check in and see if there's an alternative. Oh, I'm not ready for a committed partnership. I'd like to start dating. Oh, I really don't want to work for that company. I'm ready to do my own thing. See if there's a new for you, something that's even better, better fit. And you can keep your eyes closed or you can open your eyes, but I just have something to say as we close this meditation. And again, this is just a launch pad for you to take um, into your own meditation practice or journaling would be really great too. What I would like to say to you is that you have everything that you need to bring this idea, this good into manifested form. You got it. You're plugged into the infinite intelligence of the cosmos. You are created in the image and likeness of God itself. Choose whatever word you want, spirit, energy. You are made in the image and likeness. You've got it. It's a holographic universe. The fullness of that energy is within you. Abundance, love, creativity, beauty, health, radiance. It's within you. And the knower within you knows the way. So have fun learning how to be the creator that you are, learning how to celebrate it and how to excel at it. Have fun. I love you. Sending you much love and much peace.